who's in your YouTube recommended video stream? Bum, 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 na, 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 Dies in your YouTube recommended video stream. <laughs> what is the word, babes? What goes on? Jay Porks here. Bringing you day five of our every day of the suggested 14 days that a lot of people in New York City got off work. So I'm off work 14 days. So I'm spending 14 days with you here. If you were thinking about leaving the house, hashtag stay home. Hashtag sit down, pull up a chair, hang out with me for 20 minutes. And maybe don't leave. Or spend less time planning to leave. What not? I host a podcast every weekend where I encourage people like me, young people, younger people, to go out and vote and to take back our country because our country is in a bad place and there's a lot of people that might say this is not a good time to politicize this and sometimes they'd be right but not now now is the time where we look at the policies that were put in place and we ask ourselves why this many americans are dead why is america not leading the charge in helping this global pandemic why are countries not turning to America and getting answers? Why is America one of the pack? We never set out to be one of the pack. That is not what this country is about. This country also isn't about fascism, which is what it's slipping into. Day by day, fascism rises in America. And it's the exact thing that your grandparents and great-grandparents went to war and fought against. Hey Google, what is fascism? According to Wikipedia, fascism is a form of far-right, authoritarian ultranationalism characterized by dictatorial power, forcible suppression of opposition, and strong regimentation of society and of the economy which came to prominence in early 20th century Europe. Sounds about where we're headed right now. So that's why I have a podcast every week. I used to have a podcast and tell stupid jokes, make fun of music, stuff like that. Make fun of how me online music publications were covering music. Those days were fun. But now is the time to step up and use my voice for what it's supposed to be for. Uh, frequently asked questions. Hey, Jay, where can I get the podcast? That's a fantastic question. And I'm here to provide it for you. It is soundcloud.com slash dies in your house. Or you can go to patreon.com slash jayporks. And you can figure out how to become a Least Coast Radiohead. There's different tiers. You can check out, see what, what's being offered. See if you want to help support the brand in any way you could. Any way you could would be good. Any way you can't is fine. Just listening is all I need you to do. All I need you to do is listen and watch me. Uh, more frequently asked questions. We're not changing to a video format. This is not what it's going to be. I am just here because you're home. A lot of people have to stay home. And one of the, I mean, not, not that this is front of the line stuff, but if you have to stay home, usually there's like sports to distract us from the craziness that is going on in our country but um sports were canceled because of the craziness that's going on in our country because of the lack of leadership just you know let's just keep it a bucky barnes here winter soldier this is a direct a direct lack of leadership is the reason why you have no basketball a lack of leadership is the direct reason why you don't have any hockey a direct lack of, a lack of leadership is the direct cause of why baseball on opening day with those well-made jerseys won't be opening and it's a shame and if we had better leadership at the top it didn't even need to be that much better just conscious and aware we wouldn't be in this mess we wouldn't be as deep into this mess as we are i live in new york city we're about to be locked down Got a shelter in place. And listen, I've been given two weeks off of work. I'm hoping it's only two weeks. But according to the guidelines set out by the governor and the mayor, I'm not going to be going to work for a while. And that's not good. And I'm not like, you know, oh, I understand like I'll be able to get unemployment and they'll give me the money. I, I get that. But A, that ain't shit. And also... I got the best job of my life. I want to work. The views and opinions expressed on my videos, on my podcasts, on the internet, on my social media, are that of my own and are not that of my employer. My employer has never been mentioned on the podcast. 
I have no interest in talking about my employer besides my desire to go back. And if Cuomo would just... Well, it's not Cuomo's fault. It's nobody's fault that it got this far besides the federal government. And why isn't the federal government coming and helping? I just don't... Not, nothing's going to go by. I'm not going to sit here and crack jokes about the bus being late. Or about, you know, when I used to be a waiter. Like, I'm not going to crack jokes about tables I had that were bad tippers. This isn't the time for that. This is the time to fix our fucking country. And if there's no more important sign that we need better leadership, at least a little bit, it would be now. Even if you think all of the stuff before, which was all bad, which was all bad, the entirety of it, it was all bad. There wasn't any accidental things that went right in this fascist regime. Nothing has gone right. Nothing has gone a way in which a majority of Americans do well. Nothing has happened. Bring me your check. Show me your pay stub. Show me where you got more money. Show me how your life is better. It's not. You're sitting there watching cable news all day, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. You're sitting there on edge watching cable news, being a freaking political junkie, losing all your friends. For what? Nothing's gotten better. I promise you this. If Democrats were in charge, less people would be dead. There would be a global pandemic task force that would have already been in place that would not have been removed in 2018 because that's what happened. There was a task force that would look out for this stuff. Doctors, team of doctors and researchers. A, a department of the government that would look out for this kind of stuff. Now, nobody's saying that they would have, you know, made sure that this wouldn't happen. But less people would be dead significantly less people would be dead. The studies aren't out yet, but I guarantee you that the studies are going to say significantly less... significantly less death. So in 2018, this... this team was disbanded. This department was disbanded. Why? We do not have any answers. But I do know that there's a space force. So is the Space Force going to help us with this? They're not. That's what I'm saying. That's why voting's important. So I understand that, you know, Joe Biden is not exactly the most exciting that you may have been most exciting candidate for you but you know what it's your fault if you were saying things like that in 2016 then this is your fault and you owe it to America to help fix it and then we'll entertain your, your third party politics I promise you we ain't got time for that with fascist regimes running amok we don't have time for that right now So, I mentioned yesterday that a couple of senators sold stock after briefing their, their constituents that the coronavirus was coming. This is like in January, I think, or in February. They briefed rich donors. They said, oh my God, this thing is coming. And then they pulled stock out of whatever, I don't really know how stocks work that well. But apparently it was unethical. Four senators, one Democrat, three Republicans. Since I don't know the Republicans' names off the top of my head, I'm, and I can't Google it because Googling is right there. Yeah, fuck it. I will. Google oh, no. Mess up the video. Are we live and direct? Fuck it. Why not, right? So anyhow, they sold stock. They made millions, and now Americans are dying, and people have questions, which they should. 
So before I uh, GOP sells stock, I guarantee what comes up with that. See, like, I would turn this into a, there we go. Uh, Senator Kelly Loeffler dumped millions in stock after coronavirus briefing. And Richard Byrd did it. And Tucker Carlson called for his re resignation? Holy shit. That's big. Um, there is no greater moral crime. So it was Richard Burr. It was Senator Kelly Loeffler. And, uh... There was another, I believe it was a... feel like I'm hosting the Joe Rogan podcast right now and that's not a that's not a thing I want to be doing uh, James Inhofe Kelly Loeffler Richard Burr and Diane Feinstein and uh, they they sold the stock but on the same the let's just the Diane Feinstein sold stock that made money it didn't seem capricious or anything capricious probably isn't the right word but uh so these senators need to be investigated. But if the Senate Ethics Committee is being called in to investigate them, then isn't it time that, they, that their party forces them to resign? I thought that's how this works. Remember? That's how this works. That's what I was told. If we're talking about setting precedent, then there is no Senate Intelligence Committee investigation. The Senate's... There is no Senate Ethics Committee investigations. Those don't exist. You resign when those are talked about. That's what I was told. Now, inconsistency is something that bothers me. So I don't like somebody that does something one week and then the next week they do something opposite. That bothers me. I don't like it. In any form of life. Patreon's offering me uh, an opportunity to hang with other creators. Those creators don't want to hang with me. Do you think if I was able to hang with other creators that this bad lighting would exist? Because my autograph meat puppet stuff needs to be in the shop. So yeah. In short, on my podcast every week, I yap about politics because it's important. But that doesn't mean I'm not a cool guy doesn't mean I'm not normal and have normal feelings about things. That doesn't mean I can't give you guys important messages like wash your hands. Stay home. If you need to go out, exercise caution. Don't touch stuff. Disinfect everything. Don't be in small, like don't be in quartered off areas with groups of people. Go take a walk down the block. Don't st I mean, don't actually... I don't want you to stay in your house if you don't live out... If a busy street isn't outside, go outside. There's nobody there. Walk. Take in the fresh air. As long as you're not around people. But most of the country, their jobs are closed for two weeks. Like, so that's why I'm doing the, the, the two-week period here. Because two weeks are the weeks that I'm good. Because the pay cycle, the way the pay cycle goes, my check is coming because I, I worked it already. So I'm good for this two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm here to hang out with you. But like, it's going to get hairy after that. After 14 days, it's going to get hairy. I'm already not having fun. I wasn't having fun. I'm not a, I don't like to be locked in my house. I don't like these people. These people are crazy. And I don't want to be with them. I don't want to have to be with them for another second. I would love to go to work. I love my job. I love what I do. And this is another warning. Fifth day in a row. My cat's in the closet. If he comes out, I'm snuggling him. And that's something that you will have to deal with. I wash my hands before the podcast, so that's why I was itching. But I am a face toucher. You can't touch your face. I'm, I'm a face toucher, but you can't. You can't do it. Just did it again. You can't do it. So guys, these things are serious. 
<laughs> and all of these videos on YouTube in the co-video series. And yeah, I had fun with naming it. That's not me making light of the situation. The situation's not fun and I'm here giving you real information. But when I upload the video, hashtag COVID-19, YouTube automatically underneath the video puts a link to click to find out, you know, things. Testing areas, symptoms, stuff, facts. The CDC is here, refer to them. But don't believe, like, misinformation. Don't believe that your age means you can't get it. Don't believe that if you're healthy, you can't get it. Don't believe that, eh, I'm going to get it, but it's going to be fine. It might be, but, you know, also thought Hurricane Sandy was going to be a regular thing, and that destroyed half of Staten Island. So, I mean, better to take precaution, I would think. And places are closed anyway, so you got nowhere to go. In a couple of weeks, you're going to need to go places. And you want to talk about the effects on the economy. I've, been, I've glossed over it. But let's just... So, okay... Right. So when there was a housing crash or whatever, and the banks needed a bailout, and the financial and the economy went into a recession back in 2008, right? When that happened, even though that economy affected the whole country, it did not affect individual Americans every single one of them. I was a waiter and I used to make joke in these tough economic times. It was never tough economic times for people that wasn't in the housing industry, in the auto, you know, building cars in Detroit, or, you know, bank people, Wall Street. Those were who it was hard times for. This right here, this COVID-19 quarantine life this is going to have adverse effects on every american a lot of americans aren't going to be able to go back to work a lot of these places that stay closed and make less money for a long period of time are not going to be able to reopen and that's bad for everybody that's bad for the waiter that's bad for the amazon delivery driver that's bad for the guy at Costco that pushes the shopping carts or that rides the machine that pushes the shopping carts so like while right now the people in the healthcare industry you are our heroes and we thank you for what you're doing you're doing the Lord's work um, also people that are braving it going to work keeping supermarkets open and keeping supermarkets somewhat sane thank you for that i mean that is we you are essential in this time and you know after this we are going to be looking at nurses and grocery store workers supermarket workers like we looked at cops and firemen after 9 11 not adding a just kidding being serious because this is going to hit everybody's home. This is going to hit everybody's kitchen table. We don't know. Like, I'm in day five of doing these videos. That means I'm six, six days off work. I don't know if after two weeks, if after three weeks, my job is going to be open. I hope they are. I don't know what Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio are going to issue for the city. I don't know if they're going to say don't go. I don't know if they're going to say you can't open. I don't work at, like, a mom-and-pop, like, restaurant where I gotta, you know, where I'm texting the owner, you should close or you should open. Like, this isn't that. The CDC, federal health, local, local health administers will decide if a lot of us go back to work. And when we do. And I hope it's soon. Because, like, I, I like taking time off work when I plan it not this not where you can't do anything so as we wind down let me just remind everybody that every day I'm coming to you with a video right here on YouTube, Least Coast Radio for the Least Heard Voices 
every weekend, which we'll go for tomorrow. Tomorrow in the morning, we'll hit you with a brand new episode of Dies in Your House, which is the podcast. Audio. It will be available on SoundCloud.com slash Dies in Your House. It will be available on Patreon.com slash JPorks. And we will upload it to this very YouTube page after we turn it into a video. It's a very annoying process. We wish it would upload on Apple Podcast, but Apple Podcast is being a dick. So there's that. So tomorrow, brand new episode of Dies in Your House. We'll talk about a lot of what we've been talking about this week. Probably do a longer episode because I've talked about a lot of stuff. I've touched on a lot of stuff, but I haven't delved into a lot of stuff. So I probably will do that. Possibly tomorrow. In the morning. On a brand new edition of Dies in Your House exclusively on Release Coast Radio. Until then, I am Jay Porks. I am reminding you to do five things. I really hope it's five. This was just an arbitrary number I held up. You need to wash your hands. You need to stay home if you can. If you can't stay home and you need to go out, then you need to be very careful. Stay vigilant in washing your hands. Don't touch your face. And don't touch things. You need to stay healthy. Because on November 3rd, 2020, we are voting Democrat. We are taking our country back. And we are going to make sure that less people die the next time something like this happens. We are going to put leadership. We are going to make sure that there is no longer a morally bankrupt leader leading the federal government. And we will wipe the stain from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And we will take our country back. And we will move our country back in the direction it's supposed to be moving. And that's the direction towards progression. Bars. Dies in your house. Exclusively on Least Coast Radio.